Hey everyone, today we're going through my favourite cosmetics for every character. This was a video we did a while back, so I thought we'd update it for 2022. Also seeing as there's not much going on in DPD right now. <laughs> Be sure to drop your favourite cosmetics also down below. Let's get into it. For the Trapper, my favourite look is actually the Halloween outfit. I love the orange and all the pumpkin splotches over the apron. It's a visually very distinct skin from most in the game. Paired with this is the Hardwood Cleaver, which I believe was actually from a tome. It's got this awesome woodlandy feel to it, looking almost like a pumpkin stalk. The Wraith's look, I've also gone for a similar orange theme. I really like the contrast of the ashy greys compared compared to the orange, which looks almost like embers rising out. It's actually just the blight skin though. None of these pieces are actually from the same set weirdly either, but I feel they pair really nicely. The orange aligns well, and so does the grey. The hillbilly has the smoking bard look, paired with the cow leg enough said. The nurse has a lot of different varying things. The war medic outfit is the same one I've basically always used for her. I really love this look, especially in first person. The gloves look great. It's a pretty grisly looking skin though. To contrast, we then have the far more human looking head with the wrap around the eyes. The weapon is the Greek legends one. I personally just love the shape of it. It's very unique in its style. The shape has his white gown on. It's a nice change from the usual overalls and you get to see his his weird blocky feet. For the weapon, I've recently been using the screwdriver. Again, it's kind of long and weird. A nice pairing with the feet. <laughs> For the hag, I've incorporated the winter cosmetic, with a basic red body look. I think it combos well with the green snake sticking out, and the red tinsely stuff flowing in with the rest of the red nicely. The doctor has kind of a clash between order and chaos, the headpiece being the pincushion with the creepy red eye, and the main outfit being a more orderly leather look, with these cool gloves. The bat also has some electricity, which I think is important to feature somewhere on the doctor. The huntress has another mix and match combo. The axe this is one of my favourites, and from a previous tome I think. It got released to the store again though, and I managed to get it this time. It looks so clean. The main outfit has an interesting design I feel with the different materials and patterns. One arm looks kind of leathery, and the other has more cloth. Also, the kind of honey colour is a nice shade. Then for the mask, I always prefer the more basic ones. At the moment I like the scorched look, with the mask smouldering, and a missing part of the ear. I think it looks pretty cool. The cannibal usually just gets the the full fine dining outfit. I think this is just his best outfit. The suit is a nice step away from the aprons. The Nightmare doesn't really have any cosmetics. When I do play him, I typically just use regular stuff, but with the bloody glove, because it looks a little cooler over the regular one, I feel. The Pig, I've come to simply embrace the stealthy side with the full black leather look and the cool twisting blade. The gloves look really cool in first person, and the spinning blade is something quite unique. Not many weapons in the game move, so it's pretty cool. The clown's look is a pairing of the Mr. Puddle's head, because hey, why would you ever take this thing off, and also the tome outfit and weapon. This is a nice colourful combo, and I think the patchwork suit blends in nicely with the elephant head. The spirit's look is one I haven't actually bought, mainly because I barely ever play her, but it's still one of my favourites. This is the Awakened Origin set. It's basically like an Oni skin for spirit. She's got this crazy white hair, red eyes, a small Oni tusk mask thing, and some armoring. I really love this look, and it's a cool change to a lot of her other skins. The Legion has kind of a gross Terminator abomination look going on. The futuristic metal looking mask and blade paired with the gross blighted skin. I like this one a lot because of the inhuman face at the head, with all of the others reaching out the body. It makes it look like some crazy cyborg experiment. The Plague's look is a simple pairing of the awesome butterfly community headpiece, with some mainly red coloured things for the outfit and the sensor. I think this together just flows very well, and all the pieces blend really nicely, but also keep that whole plague vibe intact. The ghost face, I just go with the red robes, the brighter mask, and the bone handle knife. I personally prefer the red colour, and the brightness of the mask to simply emphasise it a bit more. The demogorgon has the full escaped specimen outfit, the chains representing how it will forever be chained away. The oni has a combo of this cool plated lunar armour and sword, with 
the half mask. I like this combo, with the super detailed and unique looking armor, and the more revealing headpiece allowing you to see part of his face. It's a nice clash I feel. The Deathslinger has a pretty basic look honestly, staying fairly true to his character. We've got the darker clothing with the muddy boots and the spear gun from the sea creature set. This particular spear gun has a cool little dial on it, and it looks generally more weathered but also technical I guess, almost like he's been tinkering with it. The Executioner simply has the Forgeborn set. I really love this molten and leathery look. It's a really cool combo, but it's a shame we can't mix and match more with Pyramid Head. Still really love this skin. The Blight has the Icy set, with a more basic headpiece. I personally don't like the full ice look, and I prefer having something that looks more blighty for Blight. This way I feel he looks like Blight, except he's frozen over a little. The Twins have kind of an odd combo. They don't have too much to work with, but I think the stripy outfit looks pretty nice, paired with either a red or white cap. Then their coolest weapon in my opinion is the hook one, or anchor thing. It's one of the more detailed and visually interesting ones. The Trickster has a whole cyan, watermelon-y colour scheme going on. It doesn't align perfectly well across the different sets, but the colours are close enough I feel. Again, this is one I like just for the uniqueness of the colours. It also makes the basic Trickster look far better I feel, over the super bright yellow. Also the crescent bat is super cool. The nemesis has the blighted skin. This just makes him look even larger and more monstrous, with even more gross things and pipes and pustules coming out of him. It looks almost like the more mutated versions of him in Resident Evil 3, which I think is pretty cool. The Cenobite has the black and red spiky outfit. Not much to say here, but I like the extra detail this adds over his basic look. It's a bit more over the top with all the different buckles and spikes. The artist has this purpley twitch skin. I love the patterns on this one and the whole synergy of the different swirling lines, and also paired with the metal, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, a cool outfit. I also really like her ice one too. Dwight Fairfield has the Han Solo look with sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> Meg Thomas has kind of a duller red and blue colour scheme going on here. This is a look I like running a lot. It's plain but it's a nice combo, with the full length red sleeves and gloves. It's a bit different I feel from the general Meg look. Claudette Morel has the blighted outfit. This one is visually cool looking, and also kind of hints at the idea of Claudette, a botanist, tinkering with the mysterious blighted flowers, which I feel is a pretty cool idea. Jake Park has this cool outfit, paired with a cowboy hat. Enough said. Nia Carlson has a look that I like to call the Entity. Laurie Strode is simply Laurie Strode. Ace Visconti has this crazy leopard print, gold, over the top look. It's so bright it's almost as effective as a flashlight, which I guess isn't very effective, so it doesn't make too much sense. Bill Overbeck simply has the basic Bill look. His tome look is kinda cool, but I honestly prefer the basic Bill I think. It just suits him so well. Feng Min has the Black Widow outfit. This one started out out as a bit of a joke, but I actually kind of like it. There can be lore accuracy by saying she's cosplaying as her. I believe that is actually the background of the outfit itself in the flavor text, except for a fictional show. David King's outfit will forever be inferior to his now impossible Logan look. Honestly, just quite basic for David now that we no longer have the grey hair. A tough character fitting look. Quinton Smith is simply... Quinton Smith. Detective Tap has the full undercover cop outfit. I love the leather jacket and the bandage on one of the hands, and making him look super gritty. Kate Denson has a largely pink focus, with the bright piercing glasses and the cool pink cowboy hat on the back. I like the combo here of the pink sleeve on one arm, and then the tattoo on the other. I like the Kate skins where you can see her tattoo. It's a cool character feature that makes her look pretty unique. Adam Francis has the Soul Sights outfit. This one I like a lot. Part for the backstory. In its flavor text, it mentions that Adam took his students to see the trickster perform, and presumably wore this when he went. It's cool how it kind of imitates the trickster's style. Jeff Johansson has his Apocalypse Mad Max type set. I personally really love these looks for Jeff. The set as a whole feels very unique and distinct from many of the others, and more so just for survivors. I really like the whole far off future dusty vibe, and it fits Jeff quite well too. Jane Romero has the magazine ready out 
outfit. This is one I like because I just think it's a pretty cool look. It's a step away from the talk show suits and the super vibrant outfits. It's a nice middle ground, I feel. Ash Williams has a currently Prestige 2, working to Prestige 3 look. I feel for the amount of time in the series he looks like this, it just makes sense for this to be the skin I run. Nancy Wheeler has a combo of red and brown colours mainly. I don't really play her all that much, so I didn't end up getting anything for her before the stuff left the store. But hey, I like this look. Although basic, it's nice. Steve Harrington is a similar situation, except I did end up buying the full Tunnel Crashes outfit before the outfits disappeared. This is my favourite Steve skin, I think. I feel this skin is good at embodying Steve as a character. Yui Kimura has her Tome outfit. This is still by far her best skin in my opinion, and easily the best design they've done for her. It feels very character fitting, it has a ton of different components and details, and overall it's just very cool looking. Zarina Kassir has a filmmaker focus with the camera and tripod, and the darker greeny shades. This has been my favourite for a while, again it just feels very character fitting, and has nice detail without going overboard. Cheryl Mason has the full prestige look. Nice and simple, this is one of the best prestige skins I feel. Felix Richter has the blighted look also, but with sunglasses. Again, I like the idea of Felix as a great architect, tinkering with the blight. I also weirdly like the two hands. <laughs> One looking fairly normal and the other with the fingerless glove and covered in blight. I like that combo. Elodie Rakoto has her climbing outfit from a tome. I like all the accessories on this skin, with the different clips, ropes, and helmet hanging off the back. Yeah, I like this adventurous look, I guess. Yunjin Lee has a mainly black and white colour scheme. Again, the designs here don't align perfectly, but I like how the different pieces somewhat interweave, each with their own unique pattern, and the way the black and white kind of alternates throughout. Jill Valentine is another character who I'm trying to P3. I'm at P2 currently. Similar reasons here, same as the other prestige outfitted people. Jill in RE3 is just constantly fighting, so the bloody look seems kind of fitting. Leon S. Kennedy has his RE4 look. That's my favourite Resident Evil game, so that's the look I personally just really like. Michaela Reed has a far more casual look with the cosy break outfit. I prefer this over her more witchy stuff, it feels a little more subtle playing into the magical themes, without being too literal, I guess. Jonah Vasquez has his fairly basic look, but with the red shirt that came along with the DLC. I like the crimsony colour. Then paired with this, the headphones. I think he looks a little better without the glasses, honestly. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and be sure to drop your own favourite cosmetic or skin combinations down below. Thanks, and goodbye.